Good afternoon, everyone. Um, the topic of my study says preventive health seeking behavior relating to hypertension among non teaching staff of College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria. Um, an increasing burden of hypertension in the world has become of great concern to public health. And uh, it is likely going to be of great, uh, of great consequences if preventive behavior is not practiced. There is a saying that says prevention is better than care. And that is where this study is hinged on. Health seeking behavior practice has been also always been recognized, recognized as the essential tool you know, to prevent the menace of hypertension and other uh, non-communicable diseases. The decision to seek help is subject to the level of education of individual as well as economic status and the level of concern about symptoms and uh, its duration. Now, what is the problem? Why must this be considered? Hypertension is popularly regarded as silent killer. And because it's a silent killer, nobody, uh, there is more focus on a communicable disease, you know, than a non-communicable disease. And it has taken a lot of life. Globally, research has shown that hypertension is recognized to be the leading cause of 7.6 million untimely deaths, which is about 13.5% of the world total population. Being an independent risk factor for cardiovascular and uh, cerebrovascular uh, diseases, approximately 54% of stroke and 47% of ischemic heart disease worldwide are caused by high blood pressure. This study was able to answer the following questions. What knowledge of hypertension and its risk factor does non-teaching staff of College of Nursing have? What preventive health in behavior do non-teaching staff of College of Nursing practice to prevent hypertension? And finally, what factors influences health seeking behavior of non-teaching staff of College of Nursing? Then the method used for this study. This study is practical descriptive cross-sectional study and uh, uh, sampling method used was a uh, purposive sampling. The total population of the uh, non-teaching staff in College of Nursing, University College Hospital in Bada, who consented to participate. We are involved in this uh, study. The data was collected with a validated self-administered semi-structured questionnaire. The analysis of the data was uh, SPSS software version 16.0 was used for the analysis of the data. Uh, the descriptive and inferential statistics were used to analyze the data. The regression analysis and chi-square tests was used to compare categorically uh, variables at 0 0.05 level of significance. Then the results. The people that participated in this study, their age group, mostly we are age group between uh, uh, 31 to 40 years and 41 to 50 years. Let's say 31 to 50 years, they are the more, then more male uh, participated than female. To answer the first question that talks about knowledge, it was discovered that more than half of the respondents had knowledge about, uh, uh, about hypertension and its risk factors. And one of the things that was assessed there the, is the definition of hypertension, and uh, uh, about 57.5% per, uh, percent of the respondents, you know, see hypertension as an increase or elevation in the blood pressure above normal. Why 
uh, few, few of them don't even know what it is. Even though they are in the hospital environment where such information is made available, they don't know what it is. And some see it as a normal disease of old age. Then we try to, to rate these people to know their level of knowledge. And we discover that 62.2% had good knowledge of um, hypertension. Had good knowledge of hypertension. Then we also looked at the, the, the educational qualification of those our participants, compare it to their level of uh, the, the knowledge of hypertension, and we discovered that the higher the uh, educational level, the, the higher the knowledge of this uh, of hypertension. Uh, about uh, more than a, go a good number of them had good knowledge of hypertension. And this is a, 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 a similar to a study that was carried out where the knowledge, you know, uh, the knowledge of increased, the knowledge of hypertension and the risk factor increased with educational status, indicating the higher the educational attainment, the more advanced in the in the knowledge. Then the second research question, this answered about the practice. What do they practice preventive health seeking behavior? Actually, we discovered that a, a not more less than less than half of the respondents had fair attitude. We use attitudinal scale to scale to, to measure their preventive uh, uh, activities, to measure their preventive level, um, uh, their preventive practices. And we discovered that. 46.7% uh, of them had fair knowledge, Why, you know, 39.3% had positive, uh, sorry, positive attitude about hypertension. Then the male counterpart had a better, uh, 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 we also compare the, the, the attitude in relation to their sex. And we discovered that the female had a better positive attitude than the male. So this also a study by Godfrey and Sarah. We are more than half of the respondents we are seeing to disagree with the issue of alcohol consumption. Some of the questions that was asked we talk. We ask them about: Do you do you drink? Do you smoke? The, your exercise? Do you exercise? How often do you exercise? The, the, uh, about dieting and all that. These we are the, some of the questions they ask. Some agree that you know there is nothing wrong with uh, drinking, no matter the level of uh, alcohol you take. It doesn't affect your health. It doesn't. Only few would exercise regularly in order to prevent the chances of developing hypertension. So preventive behavior of the respondent towards hypertension, we are not impressive. And this could be due to passive ignorance of the, you know, of the possible information, or, or sorry, uh, possible health information and services in the environment where they work. Then the thought, uh, is what factors that can influence uh, this, are there some factors that can influence their practice of um, preventive behavior? in relation to hypertension. We had positive factors, they responded. And some of the positive factors, like in a, in a, 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 norm, a, a normal uh, a human being, they always practice illness behavior or sicko behavior. When they come down, from, come down with a problem, that is when they go to the hospital to, uh, to, to check their, you know. Then, and, uh, and they mentioned it as one of the positive a, a factor that can make someone to actually pre practice preventive behavior. They say Maybe, health, uh, desire to know one's uh, 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 BP level. Then, finally, finally, in conclusion, this study has shown that 
Having good knowledge of a thing does not guarantee its practice. In this study, the respondent had remarkable knowledge of hypertension and its risk factor, but their practice was very poor. A lot of attention is focused on the prevent, prevention and control of communicable disease, while the non-communicable ones goes uh, unchecked. In case, okay, let me fast forward because I know my time. In uh, the recommendation, these are the few recommendations. Health programs, including living a healthy lifestyle, Ms. to be regularly organized.